so let me try and answer this in a convoluted way like everything I answer. If science is a consensus opinion on how to think about things, that's relatively brief in duration. I mean, 300 years for modern science, maybe, give or take. And we have developed scientific method, which as far as I'm concerned, is the best way of understanding the physical world. I mean, there is no other way that I'm aware of as far as methodology. Now, it is true that we ask questions from the same cognitive stew over which we have relatively little control. A good example is, what's good nutrition? Now, we ask that question like we figure out, we can figure out an answer. But the fact of the matter is it's so incredibly complex that it's hard to come up with a single answer for something as simple as nutrition. It's seemingly simple as nutrition. But we can do empirical studies from our point of view saying, okay, if you pick a particular endpoint, heart disease, cancer, mortality, that will might give you the best nutrition. But if you chose a different set of measurements, happiness, joy, whatever, you might get different set of measurements. So science is a lens through which you look for things and so you try to find endpoints that satisfy a specific question. If they can satisfy a specific question like does, lung, does uh, cigarette smoking cause lung cancer? Then it can work for that specific question. So it is quasi-objective. It is objective within our culture. Now, someone may come along in, third, in, in another millennium and show that a lot of the scientific method we have is, is, is fallacious. I mean, you see all the time about arguments on statistics, and you see even the best half of the, st the studies that are presented nowadays have been, are not reproducible and so on. So is it an objective lens? It is objective in the sense that we call things objective. In other words, we label science as objective, and therefore in that sense it's objective. Is it objective in some larger picture? That's right. We'll, my, I mean, a lot of the science that we do now, I think, will fall in disrepute, particularly in terms of statistical analysis of certain things in which one time it's positive, one time it's negative, and you make some sort of decision. Other kinds of things are, are, are pretty objective, like if you measure the speed of light, I mean, it's pretty good and objective within the frame of reference of measurements. So it is the best objectivity we can do, but it is still starting from the frame, framework of minds within the heads of scientists or wherever minds exist. And so it's objective with, with those limitations.